Hello and welcome to JPOV. Today we're taking a look at Rogue Legacy. Now, if uh, before we even jump into this, Rogue Legacy is defined as a genealogical rogue light for the PC. So let's take a quick look at the options here. You can see that they are pretty simple. It is a 2D uh, kind of, I wouldn't call it a platformer. It's a rogue game, somewhat. We'll get into it here in a sec, but these are the uh, the options. I have uh, deleted my current save so I can show you guys kind of what happens when you first start the game. Uh, took out the intro so uh, you can experience that for yourself. It is $15 on Steam. If you buy it direct from the publisher, you will get a DRM free copy and a Steam key as well. So let's go ahead and shut me up and jump into this game. And I will kind of explain stuff as I go along. Uh, so that's a teleporter. Uh, here's a little diary entry that you get. Perfect. All right. Nope, we've read you already. Come on, get out of the journal. Uh, you can see you can view the map at any time. That kind of gives you a uh, somewhat of a spoiler there, telling you that we're in the castle right now. There are other portions to explore, but let's get into it. Okay, I already don't like this room. So the goal of this game is to, first of all, not get hit. It's also to collect these gold and uh, okay. and we'll explain kind of what the gold does as the game goes on. Because um, I do need to die first. So Each room, uh, each castle is kind of generated automatically. I don't want to fight that, so I'm simply leaving. Uh, right there is actually a secret. Uh, but there's a certain trait that my character does not possess, so I cannot obtain it. Come on, zombie, die. And, I mean... Oh, there's another secret right there. Uh, can't do that. Uh, so those are fairy chests. I'll go up and show these to you. Um, you get d different objectives for these rooms, and you can't really do anything there. Uh, but you, of course, get abilities that you can unlock in due time. Uh, that so I'm using a gamepad. You can use a keyboard and mouse. Well, just a keyboard, basically, uh, to play this, but I've had the most success with a, uh, just a standard, oh, Jesus, this room. Jump! Okay, so I'm about to die here pretty soon. up in the top left hand corner uh, followed by the mana when those things rock it is a bad guy okay uh, let's look a little bit more at the map did I miss something up here nope okay let's see what's over here okay well I guess I could you know what I'm not going to spoil the boss for you guys I maybe I should I couldn't kill him, but I could show him to you guys. Nah, you'll have to experience that for yourself. Ooh, another journal entry. So you find these throughout the uh, course of the game, obviously, and they do give you somewhat of a hint as to what to do and what to expect. So that is uh, something to look forward to. Okay, let's uh, not fight the boss. Let's go this way. Okay, so this is all. Oh my! I I have not seen that before. <laughs> I have put about eight hours into that game, and I've not seen Salos. So, the more you know, the more you know. So let's move on and show you really what this game's about. It takes you back here, and you choose your heir. And this is what happens when you are able to choose your heir. So, Lady Stephanie. 
Her traits are that she is a knave. That's a class, of course, risky hero, but can land devastating critical strikes. Mage. Uh, and Bellis, you have two hands and can't cast spells properly, which I believe means you constantly cycle spells. Uh, ADHD, which means you move faster, because uh, that's what it says. And then there's the knave. And, let, you know, I typically wouldn't choose these. But let's just show you how crazy, how crazy this game can actually get. Alright, so we do have to unlock this, Kathy. Blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning into a virtual blah 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 blah, blah gathering footprints. Blueprints. Um, go ahead and upgrade health. That, of course, unlocks the knight. I do not want to show you all these because it will basically spoil it for you. So let's take that. Um, I can unlock both of these, actually. Man, I had a lot of gold on that run, to be honest. Don't expect to be that good on your run, I think. I think that was a pretty good first run. Um, but there are many runs. I mean, you're going to die in this game. It is 100%. Uh, you are supposed to die. Um, let's go ahead on... What? I can't unlock that? Oh, 360 gold. Okay, we'll take, we'll take attack. And what do we want to do for the last one? Well, hey, let's just exit the manor. And this is Vertigo. So, good luck reading that. I think he says, welcome hero. I don't know what he's saying there. Let's see how crazy the game can be. So you can unlock, is that 520? You can unlock different stuff here. All right. What is that? Oh, those are the bracers. Okay, let's, let's use the sword. I can't unlock it. I shouldn't have picked Vertigo. What else? What do you want? Already? Oh, okay. But she gives you different um, abilities, like that one's Dash. What else do we have from her? What does that one do? Uh, I think that's a double jump, but I can't buy it. And then what this guy will do is lock the castle. He's the architect. I don't know why I chose Vertigo by trying to explain the game. So this guy will lock the castle if you uh, want to explore the castle you were just in, but for a price of your gold. And then, of course, when you enter back into the castle, this guy takes all of your gold. And now we're going to be playing the castle completely upside down. I do not recommend doing this. It is rather... Um, but, but yeah, this is pretty much what to expect from this game. I really don't like these guys. Uh, okay, there we go. Got through the room and I'm almost dead. Perfect. So this will be a quick one. Come on, little eyeball. Come here. Okay, took him out. Good. Easy peasy. Oh, where'd that food go? Did I already pick it up? Um. You know what? I don't want to fight that painting, so we're just going to go on to the next room. And so, basically, with this game, I mean, eventually, as you continue to travel through time and space, Base. Oh god. Oh god. Get me out of this room. Uh, you will... Um... Oh my god, that's impossible. So this objective is take no damage. Um... I think... You can do this. Nope, couldn't do it. <laughs> Good. Good. I want it out. I wanted out of that. Um, barbarian, barbarian. Can't see the monocracy. Uh, okay, so the uh, pad is good because you won't set off spikes. Colorblind, you'll just have to see. Uh, did I? I didn't. Now let's just exit the manor. And now we're playing without the use of color. Um. 
let me let me just show you these menus now that you can actually read them in due time. Uh, so you get different things like this one is the ability to dash. You get one for double jump, which I think is what that is. Um, there's a lot of different ones. Some will give you more gold. I don't want to spoil too much of the game because part of the fun of the game is kind of just experiencing all the crazy stuff you can get. There are, I want to say there's like 10, 11 different classes. Um, there's a lot of different bosses in the game. Sub bosses, big bosses. Uh, it's actually really well done and fairly addicting. This is the type of game where I've sat down multiple times and said, all right, this is the last run. And then an hour later, I'm still playing the damn game because it's just that addicting. You always want to get more gold. You always want to get the next thing. You always want to see the next room, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it's, it's a pretty awesome game. I'm actually enjoying my time with it a lot. Uh, in terms of complaints, I, I mean, I got what I expected out of this game. Um, it has good controller support. Um, the game, a lot of people are wondering, I'm sure, if the game is cheesy or if it, uh, if when you die, it's on you. And I would definitely say when you die, it is on you. Uh, there aren't too many areas where you can just straight out blame the game. Um, and, and that's cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, we'll take this guy out quick. Okay. Got him. Be a bad painting? Nope. Shit. That was pretty. So this is one of those mini bosses I was talking about. Oh god, I'm getting out of there. Screw that guy. I don't want to die right now. Oh, here, let me show you one of the fun fairy chest objectives that I've never completed. So, yeah, you gotta get down here without taking any damage. Yep, still haven't done it yet. It's pretty hard. I don't know how you're supposed to complete that, to be honest. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't... Oh, why did that thing die? I've never seen that before. It's a dwarf thing. Uh, what's up here? Alright, I don't activate that. It's my foot pulse. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much else to say on this game. It, it's just a good game. Um, like I said, it's $15. Uh, you buy it from the developer's website, which is roguelegacy.com. Um, what? How do you... What? I don't... How do you... What? I don't get it. Oh, whatever. Uh, if you buy it from roguelegacy.com, uh, you get a DRM version to download for yourself as well as a Steam copy of the game. You can't just buy it on Steam for $15, but uh, if you are one of those people that worry about DRM free, just buy it straight from the developer. Um, why not, right? Uh, I guess we can close out here and show you the first boss. Uh, we'll just do that because I'm sure people are going to be wanting to see him. And I will not, there's no way I'm going to kill him this early on, so you guys can just see what this looks like. Maybe I will kill him. There we go. Okay, good. Good. I was focusing there for a second, but uh, this this is Rogue Legacy. 
Um, highly addictive game, great game. Like I said, $15, purchase it at roguelegacy.com. I'll have a link down in the description. Otherwise, that's it. This has been JPOV. I hope you guys like the new name. Um, shout out to the guy that gave me the idea for it. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.